Hi, this is Bob from Avion. Today we're going to talk about plastic welding. For those of you that are new to plastic welding, we're going to talk about uh, several different tools, including our quick SE with a speed welding tip, and our inject weld, and our HSK extruder. Okay? When you're starting out in welding, um, this is your low cost option, this is for short welds, and pretty much you can do all the kind of welding you need. You would need a speed welding tip, which we have here, it's our little V tip. It blows the hot air through one side and then the rod feeds through the other side. Now this is a two-handed operation where you're going to have to um, push the rod through as you're moving it down. And it would leave a little bead. If you need several uh, beads, you would just do several passes on it. I'm not going to really demonstrate this one today. What I wanted to do was talk about our inject the weld and our extruder, which are more high production. And the reason is these are self-feeding. So the rod will feed in, it'll become, it'll break it down inside, it'll become molten, and it'll extrude it or inject it out of the tip. So, um, and I'm going to do a little demonstration first with the inject weld and then we'll come back to the extruder. Um, the inject weld has a, a, a function in which, as the rod feeds in, there's a little piston that chops up that rod and pushes it down and it melts it in here. And you're going to hear that piston running and it also requires an air source. So in addition to my electricity, I have to have compressed air source. Um, for my 90 degree weld, which I'm going to do today, I've got a fillet weld tip on here. Now this unit comes with several other tips, including a repair tip, and a bull nose tip, and some other fillet weld tips. Now changing those tips would require that I'm going to have to take this off. That's where I've got my thermal gloves on here. A lot of times you have to do that, you have to wait till it's heated to change the tip because the, the plastic solidifies in there and makes it harder to change that tip until it's heated up. So if I wanted to, for example, weld this crate because I have some sort of a crack in here where it's difficult to get into these narrow gaps, that's where this is really useful because I've got a repair tip and I can get right into the edge of here. So, and I'll show you why that's different from our extruder when we get to that. But right now, what we're going to do is I've got my injector well heated up, I've got my air ready to go. Um, I've got my rod in there and I'm going to continue to feed. And by the way, when you're welding, it doesn't matter what kind of tool you're using, you have to use similar plastics. So in this case, I've got an HDPE sheet here and I've got HDPE welding rod. They're different colors, but they're the same plastic. I'm just using different colors so that you can see the weld as I'm going. So when I'm welding with the injector weld, the tip gets hot. That's my preheater, meaning that I have to come in contact with the plastic with the hot tip and this front of the tip is going to lead the rod. So it's melting the base plastic as I'm welding and then I'm, in I'm injecting the melted plastic from the tool into the corner, into the melted piece here. So I'm going to move this way with the rod. Now, and this is very, this is the nice thing about this, it's easy to stop in the middle of the weld and I can come back to that weld again. Now if I, um, and speed is very important here. So you got a speed control on here and the speed that you're moving will determine how big your bead is. If I slow down, I'm going to build that bead up. I just ran out of rod. We're going to have to feed some more in there. But if you get a close up here, you'll see the beginning of the bead and the area where I slowed down. And that'll show you the difference on how you build that bead just by the speed of your weld. Okay, now we're going to talk about our HSK extruder. 
through the power of video editing, we've now warmed this up. So there's a certain temperature for my HDPE. I know that uh, I've got a set temperature I need to meet, which is in this case 265 C Celsius, or uh, I think it's 570 Fahrenheit. So I've set my temperature reading here. So my, I've got my extruders heating up here. And over here, I've got a preheater. Now, on this, on the injectable weld, my preheater was the tip. Now, this is a Teflon tip that I put on there. Normally, it comes with a block, which is a standard block tip. It looks like this. And you would machine it so that you control the flow of the material. This tip is a pre-machined tip. You can see it's a V shape and it's got a little groove in it. And that's going to control, as the material flows out, it's going to control the flow of the material. I also have a round tip that I can put on there. Uh, so that, and this is where when we got into uh, doing narrow spaces like our bin there, this tip is a little big for that, but the flow on this is much bigger. So if I'm doing a lot of production, I'm going to want a higher flow rate. And the bigger the extruder, the higher the flow rate you get. So when you're looking at it, a lot of times you're paying for flow rate. So higher production, bigger extruders, more expensive, higher flow rate. So again, I've got my ATPE sheet, I've got my HDPE rod, and in this case I'm going to feed it into the barrel here. Now inside of this barrel is a screw. And this is what it looks like. And it's going to take and it's going to grind that plastic up and, and moltenize it and then extrude it out of the tip. So we're going to do a little demonstration here so that you can see the flow of the material. And as you can see, this is a two-handed operation as opposed to a one-handed operation on the injector well. So I'm going to get my rod started in here. I don't have to push it in, it'll self-feed. What you see coming out there is another material. I'm purging out the previous material with my new material. I'll get rid of that little uh, bead. And then I'm ready to go. So I'm going to put a little bead here so you can see. If you want to zoom in on that, you'll see that the amount of material in this groove compared to the previous one with the inject weld, you've got a much higher output. You can see that the amount of material coming out of that tip is going to be a lot greater than on the injector weld. So those are the real differences between the extruder and the injector weld and the speed weld. Uh, thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please call us. If you need any demos, we're happy to do them for you. And visit avion.com to see the, the tools.